Now, everybody knows that one of the films that, uh, you know, got post, not postponed, but, you know, their their uh, production got shut down because of the whole pandemic and everything like that is Mission Impossible 7. Now, one of the guys they had cast in Mission Impossible 7, which I was actually really excited about with Nicholas Holt, who, of course, you probably know him best as Beast in the more recent X-Men films. He was also fantastic in Warm Bodies. I don't know if you ever saw, speaking of zombie films, Warm Bodies, he was so good in that. He's just really good in everything. However, and Aaron, I think we're going to see more of this and more, probably more of this coming soon. Mm -hmm. However, we do have now word that Nicholas Holt, because of this pandemic throwing the schedules off, he is now out. Mm. Nicholas Holt oh. has left Mission Impossible 7 and Asai Morales has stepped in to replace him. Now, clearly a very different look. Right. From Nicholas Holt. I mean, you can tell he's a very, very different uh, look from Nicholas Holt. But, but Aaron, very talented. Yeah, super talented dude. But listen, it does raise up the point here that I think this is going to be, I think, an ongoing additional repercussion of the lockdown and pandemic is that we're going to start to see now a lot of these films that are getting ready to go in production. Probably there's going to be a lot of cast turnover mm -hmm. because everybody else had other things planned. Right. And, you know, I, I said to Rob once when we were talking about this, I said... It almost feels to me like studios are going to have to work together <laughs> to say, listen, let's just all agree to take all of our productions and when one big coordinated movement, move them all together. But there are apparently some studios going, no, hell no. We had planned to start shooting our movie in January and we're going to shoot our movie in January, which then throws off the plans for everybody else. But anyway, Aaron, as an actress, you know, in film, television, all that kind of stuff, when like how big of a problem is it like when a production gets delayed that that screws up the schedule of of one of the working actors on board well i mean just think about when a flight gets delayed or a flight gets canceled you know when when all of a sudden planes can't go into the sky there were supposed to be several hundred people on those planes and the airline system has to figure out a way to shuffle them all around and yes it works when they can actually work together and go well delta doesn't have a flight but united does that's a, a kind of the analogy that i would look at but also the silver lining in this um if we want to find one and i do is that it actually weirdly opens up more opportunities for more actors and the reason why that is is because you know you have a lot of actors well not a lot you have a very a very limited number of actors actually who are amongst the uh the 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 precious few that have movies stacked up back to back to back to back. Right. You know, it's always kind of a common joke amongst journeyman actor like actors like myself when someone you end a series, you just done an entire television series or you've done a, bit, a movie or something, and the first people thing people want to say is, "Well, what's next?" The joke is unemployment mm -hmm. um, because very few actors are in the position to be able to have roles stacked up. So when I hear that um, X movie is supposed to start shooting in January and they're going to shoot that come hell or high water and the movie that was supposed to start shooting in October has to push to January and they that same actor wants to be in it. I go, wow, that actor is still going to be working. Good for them. They've still got a job. But now this opens up an opportunity for another actor. You know, I was cast in The Iceman um, with Michael Shannon. That's right. And I was also, on the very same day, I found out that I was cast in the film Lovelace about Linda Lovelace, um, which had like Bobby Cannavale and Amanda Seyfried, an amazing cast. Unfortunately, and the timing was perfect because I was going to go down. I was going to shoot my one day on Lovelace and then I was going to go down to Louisiana and shoot a couple weeks on uh, Iceman. And then James Franco got added to the cast and his schedule threw everything off track. And I was supposed to shoot both movies on the same day. And I was like, I haven't had a job in like seven months and now I have two on the same day. And I had to choose. I chose the Iceman, but you know, uh, it gave an opportunity for another actress to come in and play that role. So I still had a job. You know, ultimately this is gonna be a big clusterfuck for a lot of people in big positions, but it's also gonna op open up a lot of opportunities. So, hey, I'll totally take uh, the cast offs of somebody that's not available. And yes, that's me shilling for a job, deal with it. All right, guys, question is, I mean, we're still a ways out from getting Mission Impossible 7, but I was really looking forward to Nicholas Holt playing in this role. What do you guys think about this? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.